I get kind of lonely, but um, but uh, yeah, I get kind of lonely a lot. But I have a huge room by myself. It's snowing so hard. I honestly don't know how I did it. I left my parents behind and bravely got on a plane at the age of 12, flew halfway around the world and attended a junior boarding school in the coldest of all places in Canaan, New Hampshire. And when you're 12, you don't really think about your existence. I had no care in the world why I was there. I was simply there because my parents sent me there. But as time went by, I wondered why I took this route of attending school in a different country eating food that I wasn't used to, making friends that looked different, and most importantly, staying away from my parents and seeing them only twice a year. And as we all grow up, I think it's normal that us humans tend to strive for a sense of purpose and meaning as to why we're here or why we exist, but I simply didn't know. So I would always take my little camera with me, journaling my time to find purpose. And as long as I can remember and just going back to these clips, I could see myself trying really hard to adjust to this new place and making myself feel at home. It was like survival of the fittest. I was thrown into a completely new environment, left alone to adapt, and that's exactly what I did. I learned independence at a very young age. I had to go out there to make new friends, do things that I've never done before, like learning how to ski, mountain bike, and learning how to play hockey. Bonding with nature through hiking, you know, passing time, eating pizza and watching football on a Saturday night. I was given this opportunity to really experience something a normal Korean youth would not experience back in his own country. On the face of it, it may seem that I go back to the States just because of school, but it's a lot deeper than that. I leave Korea for the States because of the opportunity, the experience, and the past that shaped me. I go back because America is my home.